There we go. Should give us the notice that it's recording. Fantastic. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to one of my favorite events tied to our Heart and Stroke Walk. And it is our fabulous company leader slash coach kickoff event. Um, really the, the first event tied to the Heart Walk that we do each year. But like I said, it's really one of my favorites. Um, our coaches and our company leaders are just our best and closest friends. So getting to have everyone in one room, is just one Zoom room, I guess I should say, um, because that's the platform. It's just absolutely fantastic. I know many of you already, but for those of you who don't know me, it is so nice to meet you. I'm Kitty Hoffman, and I am um, one of your Heart and Stroke Walk directors here with the Sacramento American Heart Association. And joining me today is Costas Johnson, who is my uh, fellow director. So as he mentioned a little bit earlier, we work very closely in tandem. So all of you are probably working with one of us or Carrie, our fantastic coordinator. Um, she keeps the ship afloat, truly, truly. Um, so anytime you reach out with a website question or something that needs edited, uh, Carrie is the genius and will help with that. So can't say enough nice and wonderful things about her. Um, but thank you all for joining us this morning. We've got about 30 to 45 minutes together um, with some buffer time at the end for some questions. So we will have time for that. But really our time this morning is just gonna be spent celebrating you all, your commitment you've made to um, building up heart health in our greater Sacramento community and really our, our global community as a whole. So um, we're also gonna be sharing some exciting incentives because who doesn't love swag and prizes and um, hear about a survivor story that's actually someone local. So you'll see kind of the direct impact of all of your efforts. Um, but before we dive in, get to all of the fun, just wanted to take care of a few housekeeping items. Um, because we're in a Zoom meeting format, please try to keep yourself on mute if you're um, not speaking, just because sometimes we get that echoey, unpleasant sound. And then, you know, no one likes to hear themselves speak. So I don't know about you, but every time I hear myself speak, I'm like, wow, that's so nasally and unpleasant. But um, And then in Zoom, there are two views you can choose. Um, you can choose a gallery view or a speaker view. Um, if With speaker view, you'll see the person talking predominantly on your screen. So if you want, you can choose that. And then, of course, any questions or thoughts or anything at all, um, please feel free to hop into the chat box. We want everyone to get to know one another, as well as get to know a little bit more about the walk this year, um, because we are a really great heart health community together. So that's all from me, but I'm going to toss it over to Costas, who has yeah. some exciting games planned. Yes, you know, uh, one thing I just wanted to follow up that Kitty said, yes, you know, we're very proud to work in the greater Sacramento region. Um, all the, a lot of you are returning coaches who participated last year, and we're just so thrilled with the results of last year. We were one of the larger uh, participating regions uh, in, in our market. So we loved it. We got a lot of praise for that. And that's all thanks to you, all you coaches who participated. So quick thank you for that. But I did want to, yes, before we launch into our program today, uh, we want to start off with getting everybody a little bit excited, kind of getting you up out of your seat if you can. Um, we have five uh, exclusive AHA swag bags that we're going to be giving away. We're going to play a little challenge right now. We're going to do this on the spot. Um, we're going to play a little heart healthy show and tell. So I know some of you are working at home and some of you are in the office. So we tried to make the items very fair, something that hopefully all of you can grab um, if it's close to you. But if you want to participate, participate, please come off camera and we'll get started. Um, Kitty and I are going to kind of go back and forth. We'll name an object that can be found in the office or in the home that's related to our event today. And the first person to grab the object and show it on screen will win that prize. Um, Carrie, we're probably gonna need your help also. Yeah. With I was gonna say, um, and then we're gonna ask you to come off mute if you've won and share just a little heart healthy tip or a wellness tip that helps you get through the day um, so that we can share that with everybody else. But uh, did wanna say, we'll start with the first item. So the first person that can find and show us a healthy snack will win this prize. It can be oh, something Jennifer, I was gonna it. say. That is amazing. And is that an apple? 
It's a peach. peach. Oh. My favorite. I love peaches. All right. So fantastic yeah. job. Quick thinking that might be your breakfast. Yep. Um, but if you could share one tip that we could all put into place to help us get through the day in a healthy way. Well, um, I've been on a lot of Zoom meetings. So uh, sometimes I'll take a Zoom meeting on a walk. If it's a Zoom meeting, I really have to listen to. I'll do it on my cell phone and email myself the link so I can do it on my personal cell phone and then walk around work so that I get some exercise in because it's been really hard these days working long hours. I love that. I love that too. That's, um, I do that with phone calls as well. I'm, I'm working from home, so I'll go and walk around our little block. Um, perfect. All right. So is everyone ready for the next item? First person. And so Jennifer is the winner of an exclusive swag bag. We will get that to you, Jennifer. Um, Carrie, could you help us remember that? Thank you. All right. The first person to show us something red. All right, Robert. No, that, was, that was Rick. Rick, Rick, I'm sorry. This comes up with my company UID, um, but it is a bag that uh, <clears throat> Costas gave me last year. And yes. I, I bring it to work every day. I, I pack, you know, my lunch, my snacks, and then I also keep my uh, hand sanitizer, my disinfectant wipes, every, my mask, everything needed for COVID-19. We love that. And we miss you, Rick. I know that you uh, you're in a different market now, but... We, uh, I definitely miss you. We'll have to catch up soon. Yeah, well, um, I'll be participating in the uh, SAC walk. I'm going to try to coordinate that also. Perfect. Love it. All right. Um, let's move along. I wanted, I know we don't have a lot of time today, so I'll go to the, the next uh, item that we're going to ask you to show us is a healthy beverage. You can't see this, but this is orange juice. Carol. Carol. I love it. All right, Carol, you have to tell us now a healthy tip or trick that helps you get through the week. Rest. <laughs> That's easier said than done. Yes. That's a good one though. Absolutely. All right, and this one is, might be a little bit more challenging, but um, a pair of athletic shoes. So something you might use on a walk or something you might be wearing to our heart and stroke walk. And there we go, Jennifer, I love it. Are you in the office? Do you keep those at your desk? Fantastic. I think you're on mute, but. You're right, I was, sorry. Yeah, they were under my desk so I can go on a walk. Fantastic, I love that. And I think we've got one more, Costas, is that right? Yes, we do, and I think I might know who might get this one, but first person to show us their American Heart Association swag wins. Did you have it? I have it, but it's in another room. <laughs> <laughs> I can go get it, but I've already got a bag, so. <clears throat> well, that is perfect, but um, so Actually, this is a great segue. Uh, Costas is going to share his screen because we wholeheartedly believe that everyone should have some American Heart Association flag. And actually this year, we're going to make that happen. Um, actually, National is going to make that happen with their budget um, for everyone who registers as a coach. Um, so this year, it's the first time we've done it. We're rolling it out to see um, you know, if it's something that people enjoy. But everyone who registers as a coach um, by August 4th will receive an exclusive coach gear t-shirt. Um, and if you've received our t-shirts before, you know the material is fantastic. They're really soft. And it doesn't show the back design, but it'll have a 21 on the back. Um, so it is exclusive to our coaches. Um, they'll be mailed directly to your house. Uh, you'll get an email confirmation so you can choose your size but I know many of you are registered already. If you are not, let us know and we can help you to make sure that you get your t-shirt. Then everyone will have some really awesome uh, American Heart Association swag. So I don't, I'm, let's see, I'm monitoring the chat, but if anyone who's registered as a coach already or is interested in becoming a coach so we can help you, uh, just drop the word yes into the chat or you can come off mute and let us know. I hope to for Oracle. Um, 
it looks like we have a tentative date of coming back into office right after Labor Day. So I'd have to do all the coordinating um, as we work at home. And um, I've already gotten an agreement that they'll sponsor us from our corporate office for the day for any financial support. So fingers oh, crossed. That's fantastic. Yes. We're on. We can help you um, coordinate that. So I think, yeah. Perfect. So, absolutely. I was going to say, Carol, I'll definitely follow up with you on that, see how we can help um, if any way, but love to see all those yeses. Um, I know this is going to be our best year yet. Before we um, jump in, I wanted to thank all of our sponsors. Um, you know, we always appreciate not only our incredible coaches, but also our organizations that sponsor us and really help us put this event on. Um, so thank you, all of our sponsors, and as well, thank you, of course, all of you coaches. Without you, this would not be possible. And I will say, I've got the news that everyone has been waiting for. I know uh, Costas and I were eagerly awaiting this news, but I can officially <laughs> announce that for our 2021 Sacramento Heart and Stroke Walk, we are returning to an in-person event. Um, we are just so excited about that. I, that's not to say, you know, our, our team did a fantastic job. Pivoting to digital last year, there was a lot of unknowns and we appreciated everyone's support. Um, but I know, and I speak for myself here, I don't wanna speak for anyone else, but I'm so ready to see everyone in person again and to get to celebrate um, with each and every one of you. So that being said, the format will look a little bit different this year, but um, actually I think it's, it's new and improved. So we will have a series of pop-up events across Sacramento. Um, so probably about four different locations for the walk. So our friends out in Roseville don't have to travel as far. Our friends who are downtown will have a space for them. So we're still finalizing the spaces, but each space will have a start line, a finish line, a walking path, some fun opportunities, games, um, just a really exciting uh, format for everyone who can get together and enjoy, um, but might not wanna be in that huge 4,000 person crowd. So uh, we will be announcing more information and working with our company leaders and our coaches to find a location that's perfect for them. But um, we're really excited to see everyone in person again and, and um, you know, just get back to a sense of normality with each and every one of you. So that's, that's the news. I'm not sure if anyone has any questions or if we wanna pause there. Um, and of course, we'll be connecting individually with everyone if you do have any questions or thoughts as well. So we do have the option to either do, like I'm in North Natomas area, so can I create my own group for, the, for that territory? Yeah, that's a great question. So in addition to our AHA designed pop-up events, um, we will also have um, the option for community events. So let's say you're in the North North Thomas area, you've got friends, family out there, your company's out there. Um, we can absolutely work with you to do a community pop-up event if that's something that would be of interest to you. Okay. Um, I have my local and then my corporate is based out of Miami. So my team, we're, we're dispersed all over the United States. Could I also have a virtual yes. Uh, yes. participating as well? Yeah. Um, you know, Katie, I can take that one. I, one of the things that I love about this year's model is, you know, we saw last year, we had a lot of success bringing people together from all over the country, you know, for our Sacramento Heart and Stroke Walk, whether they were here or they were distant. Um, so we want to hold that aspect and keep that aspect for those people who maybe don't feel comfortable going out in public and doing the walk with, um, you know, other people, which we absolutely respect. Uh, the community health and self safety is obviously our first concern. That's why we're giving the option if you want to get out where you are and take a photo wearing your heart and stroke walk swag and post it on your social media using the hashtag SAC has heart. Um, we'll all feel together whether we're you know, uh, close or we're far apart, we're all gonna be enjoying that day together, getting out, getting active. So that's one option you can do. Again, like Kitty said, you know, we will be letting everyone know where these locations are soon. Um, this is all new developing, obviously, with all the CDC guidelines that just came out, but we're excited about this. I think that it's gonna be a new look, but I think it's gonna include more people and give that opportunity where everybody can be involved. 
Thank you. Yeah. And um, we had a question from Cynthia in the chat box. Are all the events hosted at the same date and time? They are. So be yes. sure to mark your calendars for Saturday, September 25th. We're moving ahead with that date. Um, and each of the event locations will be open for the same amount of time starting at the same time during that day. Um, so it's, it's still like one cohesive event, just kind of split up and made more easily accessible to individuals across the greater Sacramento region. Awesome. Well, if you do think of any questions during um, this kind of presentation or, or afterwards, um, feel free to drop them in the chat or email Costas and I. I'll make sure our emails are in um, the chat box as well as my phone number. Um, feel free to call me anytime. But um, yeah, fantastic. Yes, we are very excited. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm going to transition to. Exciting. Um, you know, I know that we always want to take a moment to remember exactly why we're so grateful for, for all of you. Um, your support and fundraising efforts do save lives. Each dollar raised is funding vital heart and stroke research. It's progressing scientific breakthroughs, um, like the first artificial heart valve that was discovered and funded by the American Heart Association. If you take a look at some of these numbers, I know that they can be scary, uh, but the moment that you're participating, contributing, to the Heart and Stroke Walk, you are contributing to progressing life-saving science that will lower these numbers and, and your efforts are gonna have a direct impact on the Sacramento community. So we always wanna show this just to remind everybody that it is incredibly important what we're doing here and we wanted to also thank you. I will turn it to the next slide. All right. In fact, you know, just to follow up from that last slide, your work helps people like Jake. A video I'm gonna show is a young boy who was given a second chance at life. I'm gonna play this video. The moment that we found out Jake would need to have surgery. The moment that we found out Jake would need to have surgery, took my breath away. He was 15 months old. I was three months pregnant, my second child. We were in the cardiologist's office and sitting there waiting for the results. The cardiologist came in, sits down, He's an old school type of guy. And he starts telling us that the diagnosis is aortic stenosis. And I am frantically trying to write this stuff down. And as I'm trying to write it down, the world gets blurry. And I'm not hearing what he's saying. And I'm tearing up and I'm starting to cry. And all of a sudden I hear this loud voice and it snaps me out of it. And he's like, why are you crying? And I said, well, I love to be outside. I love to um, water ski, snow ski, bike ride. I run, hike. And, and then he interrupts me and says, it's not your life, it's his. <laughs> wow. Yes, he was right. It is Jake's life. But I knew nothing about aortic stenosis or congenital heart defects. It doesn't run in our families. And on top of hearing this, um, he could, you know, he knows I'm pregnant and he's saying, well, your second child has about a 40% chance of having a congenital heart defect as well. And I mean, I don't think I remember much after that. Jake's about two and a half, has his first surgery. He does great. Um, but at that point, the doctors had said, he'll need a second one once he outgrows his valve in about 10 years, then he'll be due for his next surgery, about middle school, teenage years. Okay, 
fast forward. Jake starts sixth grade, middle school. And in my gut, in my heart, I'm, I'm nervous because it's going to happen. I don't know when, but it's going to happen. Sixth grade comes and goes. He plays volleyball. He wrestles. We water ski, we bike ride. I mean, Jake has done amazing from his first surgery. I know the second one's coming. Um, in the fall of, uh, in December of last year, uh, Jake has his cardiology appointment. And uh, at that point, he's already exper experiencing um, fatigue, uh, his heart's racing. And so, you know, in my gut, I, I know it's coming. And we have our appointments with the doctors and uh, they say they see some changes and uh, let's do a few more tests. Um, so we do the test and uh, five months later, we, they determine it's, it's time. So that's his end of a seventh, seventh grade school year. And he had surgery right after his 13th birthday. So since his first surgery to now, these last two surgeries, he has been more than I ever thought. He's been so active and a normal boy, being able to do all the stuff that we've done all of our life. Um, Jake's been able to do it and sometimes do it better than me. Wow. Thanks for sharing that, Costas. I get, I've seen that video about four times now, but I get chills each time. Um, I can't imagine looking at, at a, a baby and just knowing that they're going to need a series of life-saving surgeries um, in the years ahead. Um, but I, I will say that is, a, that is a local story. And in fact, um, Jake's life was saved multiple times over by the UC Davis team. So I wanted to give that shout out to um, our friends at UC Davis, who um, are just, just heroes in their own right. And um, you all are heroes in your own right for what you're making possible. Um, so we'll send out that video in um, a separate kind of a separate link to everyone along with the recap here. So you can share it with um, your friends, your family, and we'll, we'll send out another story as well of, of someone local, Blamey. Um, many of you might've seen her story. <laughs> but um, going back to what it means to be a coach, I mean, I, I think those stories are just so instrumental in um, actualizing what your work makes possible. You know, I think sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the event or, or the challenges and the prizes. And, and those are fantastic and wonderful and fun. Um, at the end of the day, all of your efforts are saving real lives and um, keeping families together with their loved ones. Um, so thank you all so very much for, for being here. But back to the fun. Um, <laughs> wanted to share some uh, fundraising ideas with you all and ways to make it super inspiring and engaging with your team. And in fact, as we're transitioning back into the office and starting to be able to see each other in person, um, finding success and having fun with this event is so much easier than in years past. Um, we've learned, we've pivoted, uh, and we really have some fantastic ideas for the year ahead. And so we're excited to connect with you all. We'll have these one-off conversations, um, but also opportunities for everyone to connect with each other. And I really wanna use some of our time together today as a, a group think or a sharing ideas, um, because I, I really do think we can learn so much from each other. But I'll share a bit about some of the successes that we've seen that you can implement super easily uh, with your companies or with your teams, with your friends. Um, so of course, first off, you wanna promote internally uh, if you're representing your company. So get your entire office involved, um, encourage other divisions or other departments to create a team and you can compete against one another in a friendly way or borrow ideas from each other. You can also invite the entire building to get involved. You know, we really 
don't want this to be an isolated endeavor um, because we are seeing that people are needing that team camaraderie again um, to bring employees and staff back together. We also have this great, I know I sent it to some of you, but we have this great self-care bingo. Uh, I don't know about you, but I love bingo and I love games. Um, so this one not only has that game aspect, but also will encourage you to check in on your health and well-being. And they're all totally doable activities that you can cross off. You know, it's not, it's not run five miles or anything like that, because I don't know about you, but I'm not about to do that. Um, it's replace um, a soda today with a, a cup of, of water or, you know, rethink your drink or meditate or eat something healthy. Uh, so totally doable, but also those great little reminders to check in and take care of yourself and others. And then, of course, as you see on the right, you can create a heart wall of recognition. Uh, you can do this in front of your building, in your office, maybe uh, where staff congregate in the kitchen or, or somewhere where there's a lot of visibility where people can see um, those individuals who have stepped up to be a coach or to join your team or to make a donation. Uh, and you can really personalize this and, and take from it what you want. Uh, you can write your why. Maybe you are walking in honor of a survivor or someone you may have lost to heart disease. Um, maybe you're just walking for your own health and you're walking for people like Jake. Um, so you can, you can create your why, you can recognize individuals, but um, really it's colorful, it's fun, and Costas and I have just packs of these hearts that we can bring to your office. So let us know if you'd like some of those. You could drop that into the chat. Um, we can print off some bingo cards for you so you can distribute them in the office or even put them up with that heart wall of recognition to see how everyone's doing. But um, let us know. Uh, I know I, I'm just thinking right now, Costas, and I see you kind of laughing. I'm, I'm just thinking right now our, um, our heart walk storage room. We've got a huge shelf of these very colorful hearts that we would love to get them into um, your hands. So you can use them. The bingo, perfect, Cynthia. We'll make sure we get you those hearts in the bingo. Um, we can bring some swag to create some fun prizes and incentives. So we'll work with each of you to kind of figure out what will make this fun for your office. Um, so those are just a few of the ideas, but I'd, I'd love to hear from everyone what they've found is working or maybe any challenges they're trying to work through and we can kind of share ideas and come off mute or drop into the chat box. You know, one thing I did want to follow up with Kitty. Um, yes, one, we have a lot of those hearts. If you're back in the office, we would love to come and drop those off. We know some of you aren't, um, so we absolutely understand that. But one of the things that I think is great when trying to come up with a fundraising idea for your company or your team is to really get with your leadership team and see what they can do to help. You know, we have some companies who give um, extra days off for the person who raises the most or a jean day or a casual day or half day um, or dinner with the boss uh, or lunch with the boss. So we see a lot of those interacting. And one of my favorites that always seems to get a, a lot of people fundraising is a pie your manager day or pie your manager week, you know, whatever that looks like for you. I know that I've seen a lot of success with those. So, you know, always making it fun, but knowing that you're raising life-saving funds in the end. I see, um, let's see. Carol asked, do you have a digital image of the bingo game? We yes. sure do. We sure do. We'll get that out um, in our in our recap email. I'll, I'll remember to do that so everyone can get that. Um, but I'm gonna write down the names of those individuals who want those hearts and uh, they're always available. So if you run out, if you go through them all, if you want more, let us know. Oh. Does anyone have any other thoughts on how they've had a lot of success? And it's okay if you don't have anything right now, but um, love to learn from you all. I just want to mention, we did a virtual last year because we were working from home and it worked well. I think we came in, if not the same, maybe a little bit above than our previous years when we were in the office. And I think our even our uh, registration walkers were about the same count or within 10 
from previous years being in the office. So it can be successful virtually. Yes, and we love that. And that's, you know, Carol, a lot of that is to do with you, your help, your leadership, um, you know, getting everyone involved. We, again, you know, we were one of the better uh, markets in our entire Western region. So a lot of you, all of your help really made that possible. So we're excited to keep that aspect. I've heard that by other people as well. They kind of liked being able to invite other um, offices, you know, that maybe aren't in SAC to kind of join them. Um, but also we do know that a lot of people are yearning and wanting that team, you know, that team feel, that culture back. So yeah. I think that this year is a, a great opportunity to have, you know, both, which I love. Wonderful. Um, and I see Cindy asked, will there be vendor booths at each event? Um, so what we're doing is we're working with our different vendors and our sponsors um, so they can have that visibility across the market. Um, so it's not being isolated at each of those events. And in fact, one of the um, one of the recognitions we're rolling out is something I'm really excited about, and it's going to be recognition on our AHA playlist um, for Sacramento. So this is a playlist that everyone can access while they walk together. So everyone will actually be hearing the same music. Um, and, and a lot of the songs, um, I, I just love, they're so upbeat, but I know we'll have songs like Staying Alive, uh, which is, is the beat that you um, give CPR compressions to. So we will have some um, different opportunities to, to recognize the sponsors, but it's something that everyone can access in a really fun way. Um, and Jennifer asked, how did the shirts work? That's a great question. So everyone who registers as a coach, um, feel free to reach out if you're not sure if you're registered or if you need help registering. We will actually send out a very detailed video on how to register as a coach in our recap email. Um, <clears throat> but essentially you'll receive an email asking for your shirt size and your mailing address. And so you just reply with that information and the shirt will be sent directly to you. It's as simple as that. And that'll be sent to the email you register with. So keep an eye out. Awesome, cool. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, um, I know many of you are already registered, um, but for those of you who are not or want to be able to walk through um, with others, the different aspects of the website, I know um, Costas and I can walk you through some of the most helpful aspects of, of the webpage. Um, and Jennifer asks, so does everyone who registers get, get a shirt? No, um, it's just a special recognition for our coaches. So individuals who start a team, register as a coach, will receive that t-shirt. Of course, we're still encouraging people to sign up as walkers on, on each team, but um, it's just that special recognition for coaches. Hey, Kitty. So do you guys still have the program where if uh, somebody donates $100 or more, they get the t-shirt? The, yeah. Yeah. So okay. Yes, okay. that will still be in place. Yeah. Okay, and then how do I know if we've had a website built for our our company? Usually we have a landing page for Oracle and then we have all our coaches there. Do we have a link for that yet? Yes. So on the Sacramento Heart and Stroke website, um, Kara, you are signed up. Oracle is on there already. So okay. we'll, yeah, so we have the landing page. And so everyone will be able to go there and register as a coach under Oracle. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. You'll and give us that link. Yes, and that was a great segue. Okay. Um, to, so what I'm gonna do right now is share my screen. I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough. Again, like Kitty said, we will be sending out a much more detailed video on how to register and a walkthrough um, because I know that we're a little short on time. But so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the sacramentoheartwalk.org and you're gonna, it's gonna take you to long as it pulls up there we go all right so this is going to be the heart and stroke walk web page and what you're going to do is you can register right here on the very front it'll say register or donate um, another way to find your organization um, carol like you had mentioned is if you scroll down you'll see a view all companies list right here on the left side if you click that it'll bring you down to all of the organizations who are already signed up with us and then you can find yours and get uh, your coaches signed up. So I'll send you the direct link that'll be lead you to that page, but um, that's where you can find your organization or you can click register right here. You'll say start a team and then it's gonna take you to 
Um, you know, for this example, I'm gonna say no, just so it brings me to the next page. And what you'll do is you'll type in your team name and right here on the right, there'll be a drop down menu. This is where you'll be able to find all your organizations. If your organization is not on there, that's absolutely okay. Just shoot Kitty or I a message. We'll make sure to get you registered, um, your organization. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is just log in to my account that I wanted to walk you through because I know that, uh, oops. By the way, if you're like me and you can never remember your password, whether it's the password with one exclamation marks, two, does it have a one or two after it? Um, just shoot us an email and, and we can look up that information for you. We can reset your information, um, even if you get locked out, which I did myself the other day on a presentation that I was trying to show. I was trying to do exactly what Cross just did, but I ended up locking yeah. myself out. So we can fix it for you. <laughs> Yes, and then once you're registered, it'll take you to this dashboard once you log in. I'm gonna go through this extremely quick. Um, and again, we'll send a video, but one thing I always like to make sure that everyone knows is that on the first page that brings you to the dashboard, on the right here, there's a Facebook fundraiser link. This is one of our biggest fundraising tools that we have through Facebook. Um, all you have to do is log into your account on the Sacramento Heart and Stroke Walk website connect to your fundraiser through this link. It'll connect your Facebook and post it. All the raises through your friends and family on Facebook will go directly to you and your team. Um, it's a great way to garner um, support with an easy click link to all your friends and uh, relatives. But if you do it from Facebook, uh, if you're on Facebook and you try and start an American Heart Association fundraiser, that is great, but all of the funds will not go towards your team. They'll go to the American Heart Association, which is phenomenal, but we wanna make sure you get credit. So we always tell everyone to make sure that you click this link from your webpage. Um, the last part that I'll go through briefly, um, messaging. We know that you know asking people to join your team can be tough, asking people to fundraise can be even harder. We always make that very easy. Once you're on your dashboard, there's pre-written messages, whether you wanna fundraise, recruit walkers, thank your donors. All of these have been created to make things as easy as possible for you. Um, I'll show you, you know, there's Facebook, email, Twitter, LinkedIn. You just click the icon and it'll, it'll make it ready for you. So I'll do um, this one and right here, all you gotta do is copy and paste. It'll, this link will take you directly to your team um, or you can open it up in your email and send it. So great tools that make things really easy for you. Um, we always encourage everyone to edit your page as well. Um, you can send a, post your own photo, your team photo, your company photo on your page, um, edit the verbiage if you wanna say a message, all of those things. Uh, there's a donation tab that'll allow you to see who's donated so that you can thank them appropriately. That is also um, already pre-written there for you. And then the last part I'll go through briefly is just gonna be the reward center, like Carol had mentioned. That is still uh, a part of the Heart and Stroke Walk. So when you're raising money, you get points, and these are for individuals as well, not just coaches, and you get points. And down here, you'll be able to use one thing that's very important to note, the points do expire a month after the walk. So you wanna make sure that, and you know, before October 25th, you use your points, um, and uh, you make sure that you get your prizes. But that was a very quick overview. I apologize if that was too fast. And, and like I said, we'll send a more comprehensive walkthrough so you can see what the different resources are, how to pull different reports, um, your funds raised, translate almost dollar for dollar for your points. So as Carol mentioned, once you fundraise $100, um, you can check out those t-shirts and select one of those or um, they also have some cool pet gear, some like a bandana for your dog and just some really awesome stuff. Um, so there are plenty of opportunities to get your swag, but like I said, all of our coaches will get their t-shirts. And if you don't have any AHA swag, let us know um, because we wanna make sure we get you uh, outfitted with that to show your AHA pride. Um, but then over the next few weeks, we are doing our citywide rally day on August 10th. We'll send out a calendar invitation to save the date. Um, and we'll send out this information in our recap email as well. 
but we will be rolling out a series of challenges and incentives leading up to that August 10th date. So keep an eye out on your email. That'll go out to all of our registered coaches. So you have opportunities to win fun prizes, swag. Um, you even get a, a company visit from Ticker. Um, and Dina, yes, you don't have swag. We will get you some swag. We um, actually, we just got some new water bottles in that I adore. They're uh, flavor infuser water bottles. So they're super cool. Um, so we will make sure we get you that so you can show off your American Heart Association pride. Um, so yeah, we'll be reaching out, Costas and I will be reaching out to everyone for that kind of personal one-on-one -on -one connection so we can help support all of your efforts, your company goals, um, and just make this a really positive, exciting, fun experience for everyone. Um, I wanted to put it there. We've got a minute left in our scheduled time for any questions, but like I said, we'll, we'll reach out personally too. Um, yeah. You know, one thing I, I wanted to say is that, you know, we we know that a lot of you have been waiting for a lot of the updates and information. Um, so we've also been waiting and we've been trying to figure it out on our end. Now that we've kind of decided what we're going to be doing, we'll make sure that we're reaching out and doing a lot more of that communication, getting ready for the heart walk, getting your teams excited and all of that. Um, so I know that there was a little bit of a delay, but we wanted to make sure that we knew exactly what it was going to be. Um, so more information will come. Absolutely. Thanks everyone so much from the bottom of our hearts. Um, yeah, thank we you all for joining us. You all, and um, we'll, we'll talk to you all soon, but thanks for being here and thanks for um, making a positive difference. You all rock. Yes, thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. thank you, have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.